So, now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera. I'm going to uh, set up for, uh, we're going to do a quick view of this outside in the sun, and then we'll do the TV and try to do some browsing and see what else we can fit in this video. Thanks. All right, I am outside on this unseasonably warm uh, January day. Uh, and as you can see, the tablet in the sunlight, this is with full brightness. Um, the icons are still visible, and to the naked eye, I mean, I can make it out in the sun. It's obviously not ideal conditions, um, but uh, it does work. And just do one more little twist, turn. Thank you. Okay, and back for the TV portion of the review. Looks like this review is going to go over 15 minutes. But that's okay. The YouTube account to take it, provided you can. So I've got here the 7-inch uh, tablet, and I've got a 37-inch Vizio 1080p TV. Uh, all you got to do is get the mini adapter, and I'm using HDMI. Plug that into the side there. And as you can see, we uh, have the device. So in terms of response, um, you know, it's pretty responsive. Actually, it's just as responsive. Uh, home. And let's go ahead and try a video. So I'm going to pull up Mobile Player here. Test. And these are the 1080p videos. And as you can see, it's not displaying the video on the tablet, but it is outputting the video um, to the device with the volume. And the 1080p video is playing just as if it was on the tablet itself. Uh, no slowdowns. This is the MPEG-2. And the WMV 1080p. Great little device, as I've said before. So that's all well and good. Now you can watch your videos out to the TV. Um, and remember, you can also connect up a mouse and keyboard to the device, so you've got essentially a full desktop there. Um, let's go ahead and also just test a game or two. I'm going to uh, load up Fruit Ninja. And we don't care about paint. And this is a uh, five-point multi-touch, as you can see there. There's four, and the fifth one. Um, and again, no real lag, device is doing fine. And this is, again, running at the stock and not the overclocked speed. So that is Fruit Ninja. Plays just fine. And remember I showed you uh, Shadow Gun. Let's go ahead and try Shadow Gun outputted to a 37 inch TV and see how we do. to load. And I would suggest when playing, you probably want to look at the tablet screen because looking at the TV screen just makes for a very difficult time. There you go, uh, Shadow Gun plays fine out to TV also. I uh, also had some questions with uh, YouTube and web browsing. I have tried uh, YouTube online through the web browser. Unfortunately, that doesn't, uh, it didn't work. But you can download the YouTube app. I believe this is version uh, 2.1.6. Give me one second, just going to close these out. So we're going to open the YouTube app. And uh, the YouTube app can play the HD videos. Um, 
Search for Mr. Tasselhoff here. Got myself. And we're just going to play the advance. And you can see the HQ for high quality. And the router is upstairs currently. Wi-Fi on this device uh, has been really good. We're reviewing the Inol uh, Nova 7, um, purchased from Marymobiles.com. And we can change it to lower quality. Uh, this tablet is and currently at a phenomenal price of... So uh, the YouTube app will allow you to play YouTube videos, which is all you need. And as you can see, the videos, again, not outputted on the tablet. It's only outputted on the TV itself. There's a whole lid. So that's YouTube. Uh, let's go ahead and do a web browser. I've got Dolphin Browser here. And we're just going to load up a page. And this device came from MaryMobiles.com. Um, uh, good site. Uh, I've been happy with them when I made purchases for myself, and they've also been the ones supplying the tablets for reviews that you guys have enjoyed. Um, give that a moment to load. And so here we have uh, Mary Mobile's website. Loads up fine. Um, connection's a little slow uh, here at the house. But we can search here. screen correctly, life would be good. Oh. Wait. Sometimes the browser uh, can get it delayed. I think that's the browser, not the tablet, but um, it's not anything that's a, a detriment or a you know, breaking point. See it with an Aurora up there. Hit done. Search. Arms are getting a little tired here. Um, but there you have it, uh, the Isle Novo Aurora IPS. Uh, it is currently listed at $174.99 with uh, free shipping, uh, airmail shipping. And you can see here, um, I thought that was a notification, but notifications come into the bottom down here, which is a, a nice feature of Ice Cream Sandwich. With that blow, while that's loading, which looks like it just finished, I'm also going to uh, show you just how to download something from the market. So we're going to click on Market, and I'm going to do a search for Aldico. And this does have the full market with uh, using the scripts. And I'll deco ebook reader. Install. for the internet connection. Alright, so that's starting the download. While that's downloading, we're going to hit our little button here, and we're going to go back to the browser. And as you can see, I uh, pulled up the site. And that is a YouTube video. Uh, you can see what happens. Uh, it's just a black screen. Um, unfortunately, right now, I'm, that uh, limitation with Flash is actually Ice Cream Sandwich, not really the tablet itself. Uh, so hopefully Adobe can get their act together and get a working flash for Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, but there you can see the listed specs uh, that we went over earlier. Um, so I'm going to close out of the browser here. 
First, we're going to close out of YouTube. Go back to our market. Now that I'm out of there, I can close the browser. And you can see it is downloading there. While that's downloading, uh, there's also some questions about uh, Google Earth. Well, Google Earth here. Again, another internet heavy application. But as you can see, it's uh, zooming in there. Installing the Eldico ebook reader, as you can see in the bottom corner. And this is uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, everything's working fine there. And you can tap the little icons, pull up uh, the Wikipedia. So that's Google Earth. Um, there's also some questions about the uh, map program. Where is Washington, D.C.? Map of Washington, D.C. Pulls up the maps program. over to DC. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Actually, it was going to. There we go. So for performance of this tablet, the performance is great. Uh, the Wi-Fi is actually uh, pretty strong. Right now I'm, uh, you know, on the first floor versus my router is on a, a second floor. So it's a little slower than if I was in the same room. But uh, the Wi-Fi signal strength on this has been actually excellent compared to uh, some of the other tablets that I've uh, reviewed. And you can turn on layers, we can see traffic, and we can go to satellite. And as you can see, DC traffic is up there. Um, so that is almost all I have to show you. Let me just go back to Aldeco here, which finished installing. And the Aldeco is a, a nice ebook reader program. Um, here we have Jack London. So if you wanted to uh, read on your TV, you could do that as well. Um, and there are day night modes. So you can uh, make it so it's easier on your eyes at night. But that is the Idle Novo 7 Aurora. Um, I'm also going to try to do an internals uh, review, just showing basically the inside parts um, with uh, using pictures that I had taken. And if you have uh, other questions or uh, problems, head out to the Slate George forum. The link's on the video. Uh, if you want to pick up the device, you can head out to Mary Mobile's uh, and purchase it there. Uh, with the Chinese holiday coming to an end, everybody should start shipping again and uh, they're getting back to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and re-overclock this back to my uh, previous settings. So I'm going to change it back. To, I'm going to set it on Fantasy, actually. And, oh. and I'll get that set up. So thanks for watching the video, and I uh, look forward to uh, other videos to come. Bye.